there's a serious shortage of rural veterinarians right now, but Boyd Hoopert found a retiring vet along Minnesota's southern border doing something nearly unheard of to make sure his practice doesn't go away when he does. 722 square miles in Faribault County, Minnesota. 14,000 people and one veterinarian. I'm it, yeah. Dr. Robert Bogan has put 130,000 miles on his 11-year-old pickup. I bought it to be the last truck I was going to drive. As you can see, I'm still driving it. Still driving long past his plans. First stop, yeah. Still pulling into farms at which she's been arriving for nearly 50 years. Because at 74, Dr. Bogan can't bring himself to leave farmers like Lynn and Mike Findlay without a vet. She's pregnant. It's scary to us. You know, we'd be lost without, without having a vet close. America's wide open spaces have long been dealing with the shortage of veterinarians. Sounds good. Bill Rosano knows firsthand. It's been very difficult. A lot harder than we thought. As both a farmer and part of a group in Faribault County trying to attract a new vet. We found out that most of the students don't want to have any on call. They don't want to do large animal. A lot of them don't even want to own their own business. That's not in the job description. No, it is not. It is not. Bill was part of the effort to get Faribault County into a federal program that could forgive for their next vet up to $150,000 in college debt for a six year commitment. Cheryl Evans, who's worked for Dr. Bogan for 48 years, held her breath. Everybody just was praying and praying that we would get a veterinarian to come. That's when Dr. Bogan decided to sweeten the pot. It's amazing. Amazing. A little bit pink. When Dr. Bogan announced he will give his veterinary practice away. Furniture? Yes. Practice? Yep. The building? Yes. The deed to his property, his pickup truck, even Annie, the vet clinic cat. Cat goes in the building. I've never heard of it. I've never ever heard of, of somebody doing what Dr. Bogan is doing. Mary Kennedy is city administrator for Blue Earth. So it looks like a healthy cat. Home of Dr. Bogan's clinic. People don't give their businesses away. We can get someone to come in here and take over the practice, so I, I would say it's worth it to me. And now, after five years of searching, a glimmer of hope. This is kind of a long term one. Leighton Becker just finished his freshman year at the U of M vet school. He's here is where he is. He's interning this summer with Dr. Bogan, his salary paid by hopeful Blue Earth business owners. I knew I wanted to go to vet school, but never did I think that I'm this much loved by a community. I literally feel like, why, how, why me, I guess. Leighton grew up on a farm 20 miles away. So maybe. Maybe. Considerably closer than his three remaining years of vet school. His ears were real clean when we saw him. That Dr. Bogan is willing to delay his retirement till he's 77. If my health holds up, yes. Only shows how badly he wants this for his county and community. Exactly. All explainable, Yeah. Cheryl Evans says, in five words. He does the right thing. The right thing by a friend's best man. Boyd Hooper, Carol 11 News. Her lungs sound okay, huh? Blue Earth. Dr. Bogan's gift to the country's next county's next veterinarian includes everything in his clinic except the pharmaceuticals. He says he'll feel better walking out the door for the last time, knowing someone will be in his place to take care of Faribault County's animals and their animals people. Oh, I'm sure it's hard to walk away story. from all those families and wow, yeah, 77. Guy. That's a lot of pressure quite on that career. young man right now that's <laughs> in school though too. You know what I mean? Well. He will. I think he will. I yeah, think he well, understands I, uh, I think so. the gravity yeah. of the situation. Lots that's of for pressure. sure.